Um, obviously, we, we want to begin today with the incredibly sad news that a lot of us uh, received last night, night um, as announced last night, uh, House Speaker Dick Hinch did pass away very unexpectedly yesterday. Um, and we can obviously all appreciate the sadness that his wife and Pat and, and his children uh, have to feel today. Dick was an incredibly close friend, not just of mine, but a, a lot of folks across the state. I think he was a close friend of probably a lot of folks in this room, a tireless leader, an incredible advocate for his community, um, and uh, he will without a doubt be very, very sorely missed. Earlier this afternoon, the Attorney General's office uh, did announce uh, that the Speaker Hinch's cause of death was from COVID-19, um, and really just a stark reminder Unfortunately, that this virus really doesn't care if you're in a long-term care facility or if you're an elected official. Um, uh, no one is immune. Um, it's spreading in our communities. Uh, it doesn't just affect the elderly. It affects everyone everywhere. Uh, and we have to stay vigilant, uh, and not only for ourselves, but especially for those that we may come in contact with, whether they be our family, our co-workers, uh, whatever the situation might be. Uh, we all hold that responsibility um, and have to maintain it as much as COVID fatigue is setting in with a lot of folks um, uh, now more than ever, especially given uh, the time of year that we're in. Um, we know that a vaccine is on the way, but we just really can't take our foot off the pedal. We got to stay vigilant. Um, it really can have uh, drastically negative effects, as unfortunately uh, we all saw yesterday.